Hello everybody, welcome back to The End of Me HD 15. This video is being recorded on February the 26th. The last time we talked, I talked about emotions, things like that going on, or things that aren't going on in my body. And today I kind of want to do the physical side of things because it's really... HD has really been affecting me physically lately. I know the, the farther that I go, the worse it's going to get. Um, my sister, she's always moving. It's hands, you know, whatever. And my dad, he used to move a lot, but it was more like his legs. Just depended on, you know, what, what was happening. I can remember when my dad first started losing his balance, um, but I thought he always had to have balance, and so did his family. But... When he first started losing his balance, we were coming out of this restaurant that I can remember. And uh, we just thought it was funny. See, my dad, anytime he would ever fall or trip, if he had a drink in his hand, he would just hold that drink. Yeah, you know, make sure the drink doesn't spill. That's the important thing. It's not, I'm not about his life at all. So he comes out of this restaurant, and as he's stepping off the curb, he must have stepped wrong or landed wrong or lost his balance. Because the moment he did, has left foot went way up behind him to catch his balance and then he started leaning forward because that's the way gravity was taking him and then as he was leaning forward and he put like his right foot like up on like that <laughs> and then he brought his left foot over to to catch him from falling forward so now his body's like in the downward position and then he brings his up the right leg in front of him again so basically he's doing like this ballerina move and at the end he just stands up holds his drink and he's like saved it <laughs> you know he was a goofy guy but hey i guess the drink was what was important to him but that was part of the disease and we didn't even know it at the time there are a lot of things that happened back then that we didn't realize at the time another thing the disease does is it takes away your quickness to react reaction time you know, um, I would say I've always had a bad reaction time, but with the disease, it's worse. I was driving in my car when I was down there for school before I finally decided to come back. And I was coming up over this hill, and on the other side was an intersection. Now, my eyes could only react so fast. That's all I know. The moment that I saw the intersection and the car stopped at it, I slammed on the brakes. From that moment, the brake, the, the wheels just jerked you know just all the way up to the light and then when I hit the lady in the SUV in front of me I you know I don't know how fast I was going at the time the speed limit was 45 um, so your guess is as good as mine but it ruined it totaled the car and my dad wound up getting in tons of wrecks before they finally said he shouldn't be driving anymore it's all part of the disease but lately for me it's been more about um, falling, losing my balance. Um, however, I'll notice moments when my body will just jitter, you know, random. And it happens a lot. It's getting more and more, getting worse. And I know eventually it'll be hard for me to speak because the muscles of my mouth are moving and everything else in my body is moving. I mean, it just attacks one brain cell at a time. So now it's attacking my cerebrum, you know, and, um, and the spinal cord and all that. Some of the instances that have happened, number one, I would say the biggest one in my in my heart. When I was growing up, basketball was my number one thing. I loved basketball, my dad was a coach. And so I grew up playing it. That was the only thing I ever played, the one thing that I loved. And I mean, you guys know what it's like to have a sport that you just love and you can't get enough of it. This was at like my center. It was a big connection between me and my father and to lose it has been hard, hard to take. I remember being in Texas uh, before when I decided that the disease had finally gone long enough and I couldn't do anything about it and I had to move home. Um, we were at this uh, campsite down there and they had a, a basketball court out there and I just wanted to see how well I would do. So I went out there, I could barely run. I mean, I knew I hadn't run in a while anyway, but the way that Huntington's disease patients run is, you, you know, you can't lift up your legs all the way. It's, it's, you know, just motion. You can't do the motion that you used to be able to do. And when I used to shoot basketball, it would just be like, you know, that. 
Well, last time I played when I was there, I, my hands went up over my head before I would ever even fling a ball. And the form was way off, which I've never, ever lost form, even after years of not playing. So that was a big, big part of my life that I had to give up and had to come to grips with the fact that I could never play it again. At least not in the way that I, I used to. And so I guess that's going to be it for today. My name is Cody Bryan. Uh, Sarah Joy is the one who is, you know, taking care of these videos and editing them. Don't forget to check out the Wichita Clinic, um, HuntingtonDiseaseClinic.com. They got some good stuff on that website. And then once again, uh, the YouTube and Twitter account for this is uh, the End of Me HD 15. And uh, you guys take care.